Bone High Park, this is a, a very globally rare parcel of black oak savanna. It's very significant because really like 0.01 percent of it exists worldwide today. It's just been reduced to, to almost nothing. And through naturalization and time and burning, we now have an abundance of black oak regen on site. The City of Toronto has been conducting its annual prescribed burn in designated areas of High Park for close to 20 years. Deliberately set and carefully controlled fires. I would say there are two principal goals. One is to um, knock back or kill um, plants that are not native to this ecosystem. The other is to create the conditions that favor the plants in the ecosystem. So by burning, you're creating an ash layer, you're warming the soil, and the plant material, uh, the grasses, and even the acorns benefit from that. For the past three years, they have collaborated with Indigenous Land Stewardship Circle, ensuring Indigenous traditions are included in the planning and execution. What we're doing is having ceremony um, to um, offer that gratitude for the land and for all of creation, um, acknowledging the ancestors who have been in deep relationship uh, with these lands, as well as you know, um, making sure that we're doing that wildlife sweep. So before the lands are burned, um, we have volunteers from turtle protectors, um, from the Indigenous Land Stewardship Circle, as well as um, city staff. And we're going carefully through those lands to make sure um, those animals know that the fire is coming. The burns benefit certain natural spaces. Fire-dependent ecosystems such as black oak savannas contain rare native prairie plants that respond positively to burning and grow more vigorously afterwards something that has been a traditional practice for Indigenous peoples for centuries. It's that opportunity for people to, um, you know, have a more uh, awareness of these practices. And it's also part of reconciliation, right? Because the lands also need to be reconciled with as well. In total, six areas were ignited in the park today. The hope is that this summer you'll see the benefits of this prescribed burn. In High Park, Audra Brown, City News.